Are you hankering for some awful, evil little facts about Splatoon? Or maybe you just want to know something that might make you squirm a little bit? Well, I got them both here. Here's some Splatoon fun facts that you probably don't want to know. No matter what tempo of music is playing inside of the Splatoon 3 lobby, the jellyfish over there will still be dancing at the exact same tempo. Hmm... Some cones in the Splatoon franchise are kickable and some aren't. And I think that's a bit unfair to the unkickable cones. At least get them like a kick me sign or something so they know they're in danger. Come on, just look at look at this poor little guy. When you're walking around the training area in Splatoon 2 looking to play the video game, but you also want to learn more about your subs and maybe even more about your specials, there was a way to do this. You could actually go to the weapon selection screen, press minus, wait through a relatively long waiting screen, and then bada bing bada boom, look at all the subs and all the specials in the game. Splatoon 3 technically has this. They kind of went about it by uh, streamlining it and putting it here, and it's okay. It's okay, you can see each thing when you go to the right weapon that has it. But if you don't own every weapon in the game to the point where you could see every sub and every special, you'd lose access to some of them, and that's kind of sad. There's a big old tower that shows a bunch of colors in the Ecopolis Plaza, and it makes you think, man, oh man, I can't wait to be all of those ink colors when I'm playing Splatoon. Um, here's a... Here's a chart of all the ink colors that are available in Splatoon 3. As you can see, at least one of them is very difficult to be on the regular. It's bright green, like the green I am right now standing here. This is the brightest green you'll ever be in Splatoon 3 outside of a Splatfest. It's, it's not getting greener. I'm sorry. Oh, and don't even get me started on bright blue. I miss that Splatoon 2 bright blue like every day. Inklings with the long-haired Splatoon 1 girl hairstyle have at least a 50% chance of whacking themselves in the face with their tentacles every single time they jump. And no, it still happens when you're firing your weapon. And with how high and fast Inklings and Octolings jump, that like definitely hurts. <laughs> and you're doing that to your poor cephalopod every game? For shame. Maybe that's why you're missing in battle. Your poor little guy is busy recovering from tentacle slap to the face number 50. So like, is this game gonna end with us never knowing what's up with this giant seat belt on the floor here? You know, I, I know it probably doesn't actually serve any purpose, but like, I wouldn't mind being aware of it. It's just been here in front of the stairs for God knows how long. <laughs> Press Y to blank plaza posts are never going away. Because I can't really resist posts like this. Oh no, I've already been to this one! Getting a weapon to its maximum freshness, aka 5 stars, requires a lot of games. Actually, it's 464 Anarchy Battle KOs, or up to 1450 losses in Turf War. As of version 9.0, there are 143 weapon kits in Splatoon 3. So if you wanted to max out every single weapon in this game, and you were doing it with just Anarchy KOs, you would need 66,352 wins to get all these weapons five-starred. Better get to it. Oh, what's that? You wanna be the biggest turf war loser known to mankind? You wanna lose enough games to get to five stars on everything? <laughs> all right, well, better start cracking because it's 207,350 turf war losses to five-star every weapon in this game. You know, you're looking for something to do in Splatoon 3? Uh... <laughs> There you go! <laughs> On the minimap, if you zoom in a whole lot, you'll notice there's a tree here that, honestly, the leaves almost look like they're inkling-shaped. And it's, it's really cute, actually. However, when you actually are in-game in front of that tree, you realize that it's, it's just what the map looks like. <laughs> This looks nothing like Inklings. It looks like, like, almost like a four-leaf split clover. 
But tell me that it looks like that here. It, it really doesn't. Some of the leaves do, but definitely not all. Look at the ones on the bottom. Look at the ones on the bottom and tell me they're supposed to be four-leaf clovers. You can't. Without accounting for the nine skin tones, gender, or swapping over to being an octoling, there are 21 eye colors times 16 tentacle types times four eyebrows times 12 pants types times 237 shirt types times 254 hat types times 239 shoe types, which is equivalent to 349 billion. 526 million, 693,376 different ways to stylize your inkling alone. E easily over 2 trillion, by the way, with the nine skin tones. So if you really picked the same exact options as somebody else, you should be impressed. Or you could just pick a different shoe next time. And this number will only get bigger when we get, you know, the future Splatfest gear. Dun, 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 dun. Annie gets what so many of us want in Splatoon. The ability to wear both a hat and glasses at the same time. And I know, there's a couple of hats in the game that, like, do that. But, but look at all the other hats and glasses just sitting there. Come, come on. I wear a hat and glasses regularly. What about me, huh? What about me? A lot of things in Splatoon 3 have really poor collisions. You know, your inkling just kind of goes through them. But you know one thing that your inkling doesn't go through? Or really two things? Number one, this piece of electronics sitting on the middle of this table. Like a little speaker or something I think these guys are using. Maybe it's a, maybe like a water heater, coffee maker, one of those. And then right next to it, <laughs> the fire extinguisher. If there's one thing that the Inklings and Octolings seem to care about a lot, or, or maybe just the devs, it's surprisingly fire safety. <laughs> and yes, this one too. Both Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 only have five maps with less than 2200 turf on them. But Splatoon 3 has three more maps than Splatoon 2 with turf amounts over 2500. And you know what, while I'm hopping around this map here, Humpback Pump Track isn't one of them? Humpback Pump Track only has like 2300? Hello? The map with the least amount of turf ever is Splatoon 1's Blackbelly Skate Park, which magically had like 800 points of turf floor added to it during Splatoon 2. Huh. Because of the way Splatoon 1's plaza is set up, you can't really keep Marigold in one place too easily if you start to play with the camera. Hey, right? She's, she's over there. She's over there, right? What if I... What if I start to walk this way? What if I start to really... Can I... Can I make both of them be there at the same time? No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't think I didn't see that, Marigold! Splatoon 3 is miserably unprepared for extra long text. I'm sure many of you guys have seen it while trying to make a stupidly long title, but I've got one that looks worse. Here's the screen you know for times, for challenges and matches. Well, oh no. <laughs> oh no, there's a date change and an extra long number in there. Evil. Cursed. <laughs> Squ squished. When you're hanging out in the Table Turf Cafe, you know, the one we still can't actually order drinks from, but it's okay, you might look at this back wall and assume it's just chilling there. Have you ever tried walking up close to it? And then maybe taking a jump? <laughs> Did you know you can go back here? The sad part is, and the real fact, is that even though it looks like you'd be able to fit back here, the game won't let you go behind the glass. Look, look, look how close you are. Look how perfect this would be for like a quick run back during like a match. You're hanging out in your hollow form. All you want to do is go back here, get right behind this silly little art over here. But no, nope, nope. After watching this video, you're probably just as satisfied as the average player getting an emote from a shell-out machine that you already have. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Maybe share the horrors with someone else you know. You know, just, 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 just for fun. And if you like these horrors, maybe subscribe for more shenanigans in the future. 
Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Oh, that was like that was definitely more than half. <laughs>